Hi everybody and welcome to Bearding the Blonde, my name's Leah and I'm here to do a quick review on a gin that I found earlier today. I didn't really want to get a gin but I kind of thought, you know what, let's have a gin on the side. I got myself a wine which is from Lidl and I got this gin from Lidl. The wine from Lidl is actually really tasty, it's a Malbec. Um, oh where is it, let me try and find it quick. Oh there it is, sorry, I am in my PJs. And I'm back in my old bedroom. My fiancé, Ryan, is away at the moment. Um, he's in Australia. I'll give more details another time. But So I'm back home. Um, my mum's away as well. And I'm here with my nan. Um, my nan lives with us downstairs. And being back home in my bedroom is so weird. Like My mum's decorated it a little bit, so it's still a bit girly. And this is her sleep room because she does nights. Anyway... Anyway, so I was here talking about the wine. Um, the wine I originally got is from Lidl. It's four ninety nine at the moment. It's like a quid off, and it actually is really, really tasty. It's really earthy. It's very fruity. Um, what it says on the back here is that it's typical grape, Argentinias, Malbec, um, blackberry, vanilla, and mocha. I had it with. Um, I had it with spot bolognese that Ryan made for me and it was just amazing. So I've had a few drips with that. Anyway, so I wanted to do a quick review on regards to the gin that I found. I didn't really want to get a gin, like I said. I kind of just wanted to get a wine, but then I saw their um, Hortus gins that they have. Their rhubarb and whatever it is, rhubarb and ginger, their spiced plum. And then I kind of went further down the aisle in like the bit where they want to get rid of stuff. And this came up. Now this is the Lakes Rhubarb and Rosehip Gin Liqueur. It's It comes in quite a cute pink bottle. It's quite heavy, it's glass. Um, and look at, look at it, the wine distillery it says up there. And it's from Lake District National Park. So I wanted to go for that because it was more money. And it hasn't got as much volume um, at percentage wise. However, I wanted to get it because I'm never going to get anything from the Lake District really. I'm not ever going to go there, I don't think. I would love to go there. Um, and this is the back. Sorry, I do apologise. I'm trying to make this like... If I focus on that, will that focus? Okay, well I'm using my phone at the moment. So this is the Lakes Distillery. It's 25% and it's from Cumbria. Cumbria. Um, and it's got your recycle, don't drink if you're pregnant or trying to conceive. Oops. Um, and it's quite cute. Let's. I've just tippled some out into a glass. So there's my glass. It doesn't have any lemonade in it yet. So... I'm going to have to put a bit of lemon. I can smell it from here. Like, I've literally not even got it by my nostrils, and I can smell it. Hang on. Oh, that is so nice. I can smell, like, it's fruity. And it doesn't smell that strong. No, I kind of wanted to go for this, because I'm not going to get it anywhere else, like I said. And I don't want to be too drunk. So I thought I'd go for something a little bit lighter. It was more money than the... the Not that much though. It literally was like £2 more to go for the Lakes one rather than their original. Because I had more strength of alcohol in it, I guess. But I kind of wanted this because this is different. So I thought, well, why not? And I think there's more, more in it actually. I'm going to try it neat. And then I'm going to try it with lemonade. Wow. Um, now, I'm going to say that's not strong, that I could probably drink this neat. However, I think people who don't drink their rums or don't drink um, like spirits as much, I think they will find that this is quite strong. Um, it, it kind of can smell a bit like vodka when you start, like, absolute vodka. But it actually is really tasty. I 
I don't know if I can taste rhubarb in it. It is very rosy. But I think I'm just imagining it tasting rosy. I'm not sure. It is quite warm on the on the nostrils. Um, let me try and let me try and put some lemonade in it. I have to lean over. I do apologise with like oh dear. Oh, there's the lemonade. Ooh. Okay, so I've got cheap lemonade. Let's put that there quickly. Sorry. Oh, 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 is it going to go over? Yeah, I've got some really cheap lemonade. Um, just because... Oh, shh. Nearly swore. Okay. Oh, God, sorry for the chin, guys. I'm just going to put that there so you don't really see. <laughs> Okay, so I have now got the gin and the lemonade in a glass. It does smell so fruity. If people have had pink gin like the pink gin that's going around recently, like the beef eater pink gin. Um, it it kind of is like that. It's nice. It is really nice. It is, it is um, very drinkable. And the lemonade makes it easy to drink, which I guess will be a problem. But it's definitely worth buying. It was £18. Um, it's quite sweet. So if you like your sweet drinks, it's definitely one for you. It's girly, it's fun, a bit of lemonade. Um, so if you want it light, it's a very light drink. It's not heavy um, and it's not too overpowering with the alcohol, like the taste. Like, you know, when you get that bit where it tastes like paint stripper sometimes, it, it doesn't have that. If it's neat, it can taste like it neat. Um, but it's just... To be honest, the lemonade really helps the drink work. It really um, makes it. It actually does make the drink. The lemonade does make the drink. Um, so this is my quick review on the pink gin. I actually really liked it. It's really nice. It's very sweet. It's light. It's summery. It's got... Um, the good thing is that it's within the UK, so it's not, being any, it's not going anywhere else. And I'm hoping that I kind of put a bit of profit towards the Lake District, hopefully. Hopefully it went towards a charity. We did get a little tag with it as well, actually, saying that. I didn't um, mention that, did I? We got a little tag. This is the tag. It's a cute little um, Alice in Wonderland style one saying, drink me. And inside, it tells you how to, how to serve it, basically. So, you know, it tells you like how many, how many lemonades or whatever. Oh, you can't see. It's so blurry. So what it says is serve with ice, ginger ale. Oh, ginger ale. Um, garnish with a lemon slice. And then the other one says measure rhubarb and rose hip with some Prosecco. So I'm guessing that's... Uh, that's an option for many people if you want to make it a bit more fancy. Um, and then it just says, share your serves with us and tag your images on Instagram using at Lakes Distillery. I really like it. I like that we're using like the Lake District as part of the, you know, keeping that back in the UK and that. And uh, I definitely will drink this for the Hindu coming up that I've got. I've got a Hindu and I might as well take this with me with some um, with some lemonades and some Prosecco and we'll all have a little bit of a girly night. Gin gin! <laughs>